today I got something special, some comfort food. Today I'm going to cook meatloaf with mashed potatoes. It's going to be so good. I'm going to make a special glaze that's going to go on top of it. Oh my God, I'm ready. My beard is not so ready, got gray hairs. Are you ready? Let's cook. Okay, let's get started. You're gonna need some ketchup. You're gonna need two eggs. It's one egg per pound. Some mustard, Dijon mustard. Yes, it's good. Some tomato paste. Believe me, it's gonna make a difference. About six to eight baby mushrooms. Two to three garlic cloves. A little bit more than half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Half a cup of green bell pepper half a cup of red bell pepper, and a little bit more than half a cup of uh, white onion. One pound of ground beef and one pound of beef sirloin. My favorite, kosher salt, some ground pepper, a quarter cup of parsley, four slices of Wonder Bread, and one of my favorite, Oyster sauce, and that's it. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut your bread into small pieces, just like this. Once you're finished, you put them in a mixing bowl. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and ring that bell. I have a new video every week. Okay, back to work. Add milk to your bread and let the bread soak all that milk mix it up please don't forget to wash your hands okay let your bread sit for five to ten minutes grab a pan i use my non-stick foodie favorite pan add a little oil Add your onions, give it a few minutes and then you add your garlic. Give it a few minutes and then you add your mushroom. After about 10 minutes your bread should look something like this. Get a little spatula and start smashing it a little bit. Just make sure all the milk is gone. Then you transfer your bread to another clean bowl. So now it's magic time. You put in your two eggs, one egg per pound of beef. Put in your parsley. Add your Parmesan cheese. Don't forget my favorite, Oyster Char. Don't forget some crushed pepper and my favorite kosher salt remember the onions mushrooms and garlic well this is where it comes in don't forget your green bell pepper and the red bell pepper these make a huge difference in taste believe me just look at these beautiful colors if your food looks good it will taste good Make sure you give it a good mix. I'm just using a fork, it doesn't really matter. You wanna make sure you're mixing the ingredients first before you add the beef. It's harder to mix with the beef and the ingredients together. Now you can add your beef. Please wash your hands before you do this. It's time to get dirty. Mix it up, believe me. It tastes better when you do it with your hands. Once you're finished mixing it, you put it into a meatloaf pan. Just look at those beautiful colors. You can see the bell peppers, the red, green, the mushrooms pop out. Now it's time to make the glaze. Just add some ketchup. I'm not measuring anything. Dijon mustard and one of my favorite ingredients, paprika. 
I'm just adding a little sprinkle. Okay, maybe two. Add a little brown sugar. Add some tomato paste. Some crushed pepper. And don't forget my favorite, kosher salt. I did something different. I added a little chipotle sauce just to give it a little kick. Now you mix it with a whisk. I never thought I would say whisk in my life, so whisk away. Only use half of your glaze on the meatloaf. You're going to use the other half later. Now it's time to put it in the oven. 350 degrees, 50 to 60 minutes. After 30 minutes, take it out and put the rest of the glaze on there. Mashed potatoes look delicious. Green beans, almost done. The meatloaf is out, now it's time to taste test. Oh my god, it's so good. Look at all this grease, this is what causes heart disease. Make sure you use a drip pan for your meatloaf. Well, there you have it, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. And for the best part, spending quality time with my family. Don't let the enemy distract you from your goals and dreams. Keep moving forward. The best is yet to come. You are stronger than you think. You got this.